As the governor was mentioning, UNEP, United Nations Environment Programme, has been asked by the government of Nigeria to help take responsibility, give direction for and expert advice regarding the cleanup of Agoni land. And this first stage is really for the communities to tell us, UNEP, what environmental problems you have. Where are the oil spills? What effects has it had on your agriculture, on your fisheries, on your health? We look forward to working with you and to helping to clean up Agoni land. Thank you very much indeed. Eventually, yeah. How much, how much can I feel? Uh, uh, how about the first one? How about the second one? Let's see, shall we? Eventually, you can. No, if you get to that level, okay. uh, where you, you don't bother again, and this is the level. No, no problem. You only just want to you keep going. Now, you will let me do something. If I hear complaint, there, yeah, I will arrest you. My friend works with UNEP. Do you know what UNEP is? UNEP is in charge of the Ogoni cleanup. Mike, can you come and address our people on what you're doing? Your Excellency, Governor of Rivna State, River State, Your Excellency, Deputy Governor of Rivna State, all protocol duly observed. I think it's fair to say that uh, I underestimated the, the level of the problems and the challenges in Agoni Laird when I first went there. But then it's an environment within which, in a, in a short period of time, the enormity of the problems uh, became apparent quite quickly. Shell is the, the group that Agoni people don't want to see. Yes. Yes. And so now you're coming in to clean up our work. Yes. Uh, take measurements and all that. And ultimately leading to a cleanup. That, 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 yes, leading to a cleanup. That's what I'm saying. And so they know that the project is sponsored by Share. And because they don't want Share, what they see you is, is uh, brother of Share that is here. <laughs> so there was an inherent historical mistrust of entities coming in with promises of what they would do. So I think the fact that UNEP didn't enjoy that level of trust was historical. It wasn't specific to our organization. So since November, when the governor asked you and you agreed, UNEP has been working in Agoni land. We started in LMA and Thai to do what we call the ground truthing, where we come into the communities, we speak to the communities, we seek the approval of the communities that we may proceed with our work. We discovered that some of the wells in my place are contaminated. Some are filled with water and uh, oil. Okay, not good. I have gone to all the hospitals in a, in a LMA here, Mission Clinic, General Hospital. I end up in BMH in Port Harcourt, where they diagnosed him that he had a bacteria. See what we were saying, that our dead is from the world of Nigeria. That our dead is the benefit of some people when we are, we have no benefit of it. Through this process of engagement and dialogue, I think um, we actually met with directly or indirectly in excess of 20, 22,000 Agoni people. So what came out of the consultation was, I think, uh, an understanding of what it was that we wanted to do and most importantly, 
that we gained the trust of the Agoni people to actually allow us to come into their communities. So, boy, come to my team and see what I'm doing. I know now. That is why I want to find work. You know, see what I go. And it's still smelling like hydrocarbons. Uh, that on, uh, that on is shot. It actually swells. Mm. You get me some shots of the dead mangroves? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Are we good? That's a real place, make the video man. Two can stand. Yeah, zoom. Go. Thank you. Let us lead him. Go. 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 just past the three-year anniversary of the report. Um, in that time, there has been quite a bit of agitation in Agoniland and perhaps more broadly throughout Nigeria that um, the recommendations of UNEP haven't yet been implemented in a, in a concrete fashion. This cleanup needed to start. It needed to start with a degree of urgency um, and that years couldn't be allowed to elapse because it, in so doing, the dynamic phenomenon of the contamination will spread, the footprint will be larger.